In this section, we'll take a look at Noster, notes and other stuff transmitted by relays, a censorship resistant global social network. When you look at the current state of social media apps, they can ban anyone at any point and control who can participate and who will be censored. These apps contain ads, meaning they're monetizing our attention to make money. And they also capture our personal information. This is where Noster comes in to solve the problem. Notes and other stuff transmitted by relays is a protocol that aims to create a censorship resistant global social network. Here is a diagram explaining Noster at a high level. There are computers called relays that are storing information. There are clients that access the Noster protocol and there are individuals that are interacting with this protocol. So to give an example, using a client, Bob creates an event, signs it with his private key, and that information is sent to a relay. Now, Alice, she uses Bob's public key and lets her client know that she's following Bob using the public key. The client then pulls information from all the relays it knows for that particular public key and exposes that information to Alice. Let's look at this closer. So the two main components are clients and relays. Clients are apps that are used to access the Nostra protocol. So there are apps on your computer or your cell phone. Every user runs a client. Relays are backend servers or computers for Nostra. They allow clients to send them messages, broadcast messages to connected clients, and anyone can run a relay. Users are identified using their public key. Users sign posts using their private key. Every client validates these signatures or their private key. Clients fetch the information from the relays of the choice. And clients can publish information to the relays of their choice. Now, relays don't speak with one another, but relays speak with clients. To follow someone, the user instructs the client to query all the relays for their in that individual's public key. Now, since a client is only accessing information from relays, you can switch between any client or use multiple clients and all the information will be the same. Now, on startup, when you open up the client or the app, it queries the information from the known relays for the users that it follows through the public key. Events are the only form of data in Noster. It can capture messages, images, and videos. Events must be signed by the user's private key in order for it to be sent and accepted. To be clear, Noster is a separate protocol not related to the Bitcoin protocol. However, Noster does support lightning payments, which enables micro-tipping. Someone can tip as little as one Satoshi for someone's post if they like it. It also includes means you could do micropayments, meaning you could pay for an article as little as 100 Satoshis. To use Noster, it's super simple. You download an app or a client on your desktop, laptop, or your cell phone. When you download the client, you're able to create a public and a private key. Keep your private key safe because if you lose it, you lose access to your profile. Update your profile, so add a display picture, add a bio, and so on. Start creating posts, and then you can follow users by their public key. It's shown as a QR code, so it's super easy to add someone. So benefits of Nostra is that it's decentralized. It's not controlled by anyone. It's pseudonymous. It does not collect user data and uses cryptographic signatures to send information, private key and public key. It's open source. Anyone can view, use, and modify. Monetization is available without ads, as content creators can monetize directly on Nostra.